horses killed and abandoned in the mountains between Iran and Iraq. These images appeared online on May 1st. The horses were killed by Iranian border guards because they were being used by smugglers known as kulbars, who bring all kinds of products from Iraqi Kurdistan into Iran. Our observer is from the region. He says the border guards seem to think they have carte blanche when it comes to stopping the smugglers. Careful, some of these images are unpleasant. They kill the horses to send a message and as a way of punishing the smugglers who got away. We think that some of the photos and videos that are going around were actually put online by the border guards as a form of intimidation. The border guards and the revolutionary guards who patrol with them, they think they can do what they like. The law isn't clear on what measures they're allowed to take. They're never prosecuted in any case. Sometimes the horses aren't killed, instead they're sold at the market and brought back by the smugglers. The Iranian troops regularly shoot and kill smugglers too. But the Kalbars have little choice. Buying goods cheap in Iraq and selling them in Iran is one of the few economic possibilities open to them in the isolated region, which is one of the poorest in Iran. They smuggle all kinds of things, especially tobacco and alcohol. Smuggling is the only way to make a living in many of the Kurdish areas of Iran. The region isn't developed, there's no industry, and with the mountains, it's hard to farm. The border guards are tough with the kulbars. When they don't shoot them, they demand bribes. Residents of the region are allowed to buy certain products in Iraq, but the legal border crossings have been closed for three months because of security concerns. There was a long strike against the closure in March. 